in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. <laughs> This video is gonna do one of two things. It's gonna either save you a ton of fucking money from getting robbed online, thinking that it's one thing when it's perfect replica from China, or why would it piss you off? Cause you're gonna be the motherfucker wearing the fake Louis Vuitton Millionaire 1.1s by Virgil Abloh. I'm gonna point out significant details that you can blow your boy spot up who's rocking them Fugats. That's a Fugazi. How do you know it's a Fugazi? You looked at it for two seconds. And be like, ha ha, those shits is fake. Or you're not on eBay trying to buy these joints and then you're gonna like, oh shit, $150. Perfect fucking deal, let me back those up. Boom, them shits release $20. So let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put y'all bitches on to the comparisons between real and made in China. What's poppin' dirtbags? It's your boy, c 3 u 3 b to the a If you don't know who I am, then you obviously don't like men's fragrances because I'm a big fragrance influencer. I also have a lot of jewelry tips on this channel, which is the Cubano Loco channel. In this particular case, I'm a sunglass collector. I have about, mm, I wanna say about 20 to 30 frames, all different varieties, styles, vintage, new shit, and these are one of my latest acquisitions. Look at these bags. The original Millionaires were shit, maybe like 10 years ago? Them motherfuckers are a grip right now in the secondary market. When they first came out, I believe they were somewhere along the lines of about $1,500 to $2,000. You'll be hard pressed to find full presentation Louis Vuitton original millionaires for under 3 k that are official. Now, let me give you a detailed look of these millionaires. You got the beautiful Louis Vuitton enamel with the hinge work, and I'm showing this particular area for a reason. I'm trying to get the lighting as best as I can so you can see. Focus on this particular area, because this area is gonna be a telltale sign of how to spot the real from the fake. You got the LV print all along the line. You got the laser engraving on the inside, and I'll show you more detail up close, but the identity identification, size code, everything here. Then you got the L stitching, and that's pretty much it. They do look a little futuristic, a little 3D IMAX-ish. I get it, but these shits is popping. The first telltale detail, and I'll try to put pictures up here, is that the fakes from China will have, looks like a letter C right on the side where the enamel is. So right on this borderline, you're gonna see a letter C or like a half a moon or some bullshit like that. It's gonna be on one, if not both stems. It's not a color thing. The red ones, the marble ones, the white ones, the black ones, they don't have no fucking letter C. So that's the easiest telltale sign that your boy is rocking some fake shit. Did a very good job of copying the top, but the details on the Chinese ones have sharp lines, especially on the finishes towards the ends where the buttons are. When you rub your fingers on top, it has a little bit of a sharpness and an edge to it. Another key spot is if the glasses are ever off, the Louis Vuitton logo on the inside is engraved. This shit is like a Dremel. The Chinese one is straight paint. If it is dremeled in the Chinese one with like five wears of any product on your hair, the shit is gonna start fading and it's gonna start tripping. I wear a lot of fucking product on my hair and these shits is still up intact. Should say Louis Vuitton, Paris, France, 2018, and then Pont Neuf, which I believe is the color code. On the other side, the code should be Z1165E93L and they're 58 by 17 by 145. That's what they should say for the black ones. The size on all of them should only be 58, 17, 145. The Chinese ones have a completely different size. I believe some say 56. I think I even seen one say 60. They don't change in size variety. They're always gonna be 58, 17, 145. You can definitely feel the weight difference in the Chinese ones than these. Also, a telltale sign when you get them is the smell. Any Chinese product that's a replica will have this factory rubbery smell. It's uncanny, you will spot it immediately. They should have no fucking smell. This was impressed by walking barefoot with their toes all crimpled up and shit. Whether it be the white ones, the red ones, the marble ones, whichever ones, you, those are the telltale signs. The smell, number one. Number two is the letter C on the side. The Dremel lettering to the side, also, a huge tell, as well as the size code. Make sure you check the sizes, because that also is a big tell. If you want to rock the fake ones, just make sure nobody sees this fucking video, because it's going to blow your shit up. I hope y'all motherfuckers enjoyed this video. Give this video a huge thumbs up. Share this video for anybody that you think may be rocking some fakes. If you guys want to see any other videos of me blowing up some fucking replicas in the sunglass game, make sure to leave a comment below and smash that thumbs up button. I appreciate y'all motherfuckers from watching, and I hope y'all don't get got, because I know motherfuckers out here... <laughs> Faking it till they make it. Smooches.